Fly Guy presents Dinosaurs by Ted Arnold. A boy had a pet fly named Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name, Buzz. Ooh, what do you think he wants to be? A paleontologist. I think so. They hunt bones. Buzz and Fly Guy were at the Natural History Museum. This museum has lots of cool stuff, said Buzz. There are dinosaur bones in here. Bones? This made Fly Guy very excited. They went inside to learn about dinosaurs. Kind of reminds me of the Field Museum. If you've never been there, it's a great place to go. They have a dinosaur that they call Sue, but I think they have another one somewhere also. Maybe you'll have to go and check it out. Dinosaurs walked the earth about 250 million years ago during the Mesozoic era. Back then, all the land on earth was pushed together. This landmass was called Pangaea. Over millions of years, the land drifted apart to form seven continents. Dinosaurs lived all across Pangaea. So they think that the earth started out like this. And God may have done that and then had things drift apart, but he may have made it just the way it is. And maybe it just looks like they all fit together. Scientists have discovered 700 kinds of dinosaurs. Not all dinosaurs lived at the same time. For example, Tyrannosaurus rex and Stegosaurus never met because they lived at different times. So here are some different kinds. And it says humans did not live when dinosaurs were alive, but flies did. Hmm. Dinosaurs were reptiles. Reptiles are covered in scales. Other reptiles include crocodiles, lizards, and turtles. Dinosaurs are also closely related to birds. That's because of how their leg bones join to their hips. All dinosaurs had scales, but some even had feathers like birds. Kind of like the book that we read on Wednesday. Baby dinosaurs hatched from eggs. Some eggs were as big as footballs. Others were small. Most dinosaur eggs were laid in nests on the ground. These are duckbill dinosaurs' eggs. An egg as big as a football. Wow, you could feed a lot of people for breakfast that way, couldn't you? Some dinosaurs, such as Allosaurus, ate other dinosaurs or animals. They were carnivores. Carnivores had sharp teeth for hunting and chewing meat. So carnivores ate meat. Other dinosaurs, like Iguanodon, ate only plants. They were herbivores. Herbivores had flat teeth for chewing leaves. So herbivores eat plants and carnivores eat meat. Tyrannosaurus rex was a carnivore. T. rex had sharp teeth and claws. It could run fast and had good sense of smell. T. rex was about 40 feet long. That's as long as a school bus. T-Rex was a great hunter. That's why I call T-Rex the king of the dinosaurs. Many dinosaurs, including T-Rex, were predators. They hunted other dinosaurs or animals called prey. Dinosaurs had weapons to scare off predators or to hunt prey. Many predators, like Velociraptor, had sharp teeth and claws. Stegosaurus was an herbivore. It had large spark, a large spiked tail to help keep predators away. My body is a weapon. And so that's the tail that could hurt you if you attacked him. And that one has claws right there. Dinosaurs survived on Earth for a long time, so they were super smart. They were good hunters and defenders, but most dinosaurs were no smarter than cats or dogs. Scientists believe that most dinosaurs had small brains. 
Stegosaurus had a brain the size of a walnut. And he says, nuts? That is kind of crazy that such a big animal would have such a small brain. Many reptiles that lived in the Mesozoic era were not dinosaurs. Dinosaurs lived only on land. Pterosaurus, pterosaurs were flying reptiles. A pterodactyl is a type of pterosaur. Plesiosaurs lived in water during the time dinosaurs lived. Pterosaurs and plesiosaurs were not dinosaurs because they lived either in the water or in the air. Whoa, that's a huge meteor. Dinosaurs ruled the planet for 165 million years, but about 65 million years ago, they all died out or became extinct. Scientists don't know why. Some think a giant meteor hit Earth. Others think an ash cloud from a volcano's explosion blocked the sun leaving the dinosaurs with nothing to eat. We don't know for sure why there are no more dinosaurs either. Fossils are the remains of something that existed a long time ago. They can be in rocks that formed over many years. Other fossils include dinosaur bones. Scientists have learned a lot about dinosaurs by uncovering fossils. Fossils, fossils are shown here. A paleontologist is a scientist who studies the history of life on Earth. Paleontologists go on special trips called digs to look for dinosaur bones. When they find bones, they rebuild the skeleton. Each bone is dug up, then it is cleaned. Next, the scientists put the bones together like a very hard puzzle. That would be so tricky. Putting a dinosaur skeleton together is tricky. Paleontologists sometimes make mistakes. A paleontologist put the wrong skull on an Apatosaurus skeleton. He thought it was a new kind of dinosaur and called it Brontosaurus by mistake. In 1887, another paleontologist found a skull in Wyoming. He thought it belonged to an extinct bison. Later, he learned it belonged to a Triceratops. Back at home, Buzz built a skeleton. Dinosaurs are awesome, he said. I can't wait to go on another field trip. Looks like he used recycled things to make his dinosaur bones. How cool. Like I said in the last one, we believe that dinosaurs existed, but we don't quite believe the same time frame they had. So that is it for about dinosaurs.